I was born in Brazil and I was born out of wedlock. Throughout my life, as I grew up, I went to Catholic schools all my life, and I learned that people that live unmarried, that they go to hell. That was an awful feeling. And at the same time, there was a certain prejudice against children out of wedlock, and I felt that by the lessons that I got from my teachers at school. You know, people born like you amount to nothing. You grow up to be nothing. So I, I grew up placing a distance between myself and other people. What affected me during all those, those years was the shame, the feeling of being uh, second rate. I have to say that I lived for 60 years with that shame. She had to confess that before she would accept my marriage proposal. She says, you need to know this about me. I said, that was, your mother, that was your mother and father's problem, that's not yours. But she felt that she wasn't being honest and transparent if she didn't let me know this deep, dark secret that, ca that carried so much shame for her. And it was recently, what, 10 years ago, at this church that I became a new woman, that I finally found God in my life. It, it, it seems that there was kind of a, a major moment inside me that I said, oh, he loves me just as I am. And it was like a cleansing, a cleansing power. Something came inside me and I felt peace. You know, I left that place a new person. Without that shame came power and came love for me. I think our church, I would say, is really, I would say, number one in our lives. Because from there, we have a better marriage. We have a better life. As we receive so much from our church, you want to share that. He wants us to go out and do his work. We are his hands, we are his feet. In this church, we have connected with groups that we feel that we are serving the Lord because it's a connection of our gifts and the needs of others. We came here, what, 15 years ago? We never found a community like this.